Hey Jay Vega, that's uh, that's my dog eating either a mouse or a mole. Probably a mole. He just dug it up. So we don't have to watch that. Uh, look at this awesome tree. There was a, I once had an excellent moment with an owl in that tree. Uh, I went over and sat there, and the owl just checked me out and decided not to run for it. Uh, so we're talking about dues pain, and uh, oh, here comes a plane to ruin this uh, to ruin this video. How about some coffee? Uh, so Jay Vega, uh, you talked about paying dues for six months, um, and uh, do I consider hazing or do, uh, um, or is it dues paying? And I think I think that they're I think they're both. But you'd have to tell me actually. I, I would love to hear from you about this because um, I've experienced that. I worked in, uh, for instance, I worked at a waterproofing job and. Uh, they had me doing grunt work, uh, carrying stuff up to the roofs, um, cleaning up trash. I went and got them coffee. Um, uh, I ran to their trucks for their cigarettes and their lighters, next to their lighters. It was always something. And uh, I guess, you know, they were like, that was a deuce pain that they were hoping. That's our public transportation system. It's called the Max. Oh, there's an old one and a new one passing each other. I think they're made in Germany. Um, they were expecting to have me, uh, you know, kind of be their servant, you know, pay some dues for six months. Um, but uh, I saw some jobs uh, that I could do, and uh, I asked the supervisor to show me, actually on my lunch hour, um, and uh, so I started doing these side tasks uh, that were like, you know, semi-skilled work. Um, and then uh, the person who ran the company saw me from across the valley with these gigantic, basically uh, binoculars that were like telescopes. Uh, he would look at his work site from far away, I found out later. Because he knew that he knew what I had done, and he hadn't been there. Um, and he moved me to another work site um, where I was then done, I, I, was, I was done with... Uh, my uh, my uh, hazing, my deuce pain, um, and got straight into uh, uh, independent work. Um, I was uh, waterproofing uh, walkways in a hotel, um, and there was resentment um, uh, directed at me. Like it, well, I wasn't seen as like a go-getter and somebody that used his initiative. I was seen somebody that got out of paying his dues. You know, everyone else for the first six months had to lug stuff up to the roof, and now I was off uh, by myself. Uh, uh, grinding cement all day long and then going over it at the end with a, uh, you know, waterproofing it. Um, it was pretty cush work. I liked it. It was not lugging 75-pound bags up to the roof because uh, these guys, uh, you know, I, w I was their guy. Go get me cigarettes. Go get me coffee. Um, so so I, I just, I, I've never done it. I've always encountered that, uh, uh, as you say, paying your dues. And the very first thing I do is look for, I mean, is there, I mean, is there something more useful I could do, something more job-related, other than get you cigarettes? Uh, and I think my, uh, the, the last job I had, um, I think the reason why, um, a whole, I, worked, I started working with a whole bunch of people, and only two people were kept, and I was one of them. And I think the reason why I was kept is, rather than do the the kind of grunt work, and this might be that kind of thing, that six months of grunt work, that also might be a way to keep you from uh, getting skills and uh, becoming valuable. Um, you know, if someone gets in there and they're just full of spirit, you know, and they haven't been working there years, you know, their back's not tweaked, um, and they're all, like, eager to please, you know, rather than, like, you've been there a couple of years and you're trying to get uh, um, your boss to... Uh, to, you know, to do some give and take and, um, you know, work with you a little bit. And here's this guy that just shows up and he's wants, he wants to do everything. <laughs> um, so my last job, like, uh, that's what it was expected of me is just to just do my grunt work. And I'd do it as fast as I could. And uh, there was two people on either side of my work area. And both of them were kind of, uh, they definitely weren't a part of the group. Um, they were, uh, they did their own thing. Um, they seemed a little bit, uh, 
standoffish and angry. And I'd go ask either of those, because they were closest, do you need any help? Is there anything I could do for you? Um, and both of them were doing jobs that uh, I was unfamiliar with. And at first they were kind of dismissive, and they gave me actually grunt work. And so I did their grunt work for them. And then when I was done doing their grunt work, I came back and I'm like, can I help you do this? And they're like, um, all right. And then they explained what they were doing. Um, and one of the jobs was kind of, uh, it was kind of interesting, interestingly intricate. It was, it was basically just to pay attention to, uh, to small details. Um, so not too hard, just paying attention. Um, and so I picked it up right away. And, uh, I think because I picked up two, two different side jobs and also got two different employees that normally just kind of get ignored, um, I, I, I mean, I engaged them and, and picked up stuff from them and did what they told me. Um, that information got to uh, the, the general supervisor, and they're like, hey, keep that guy on. He's got, he's got gusto. He's got moxie. I like that guy. <laughs> I don't know if he said that. <laughs> But uh, a huge amount of people uh, uh, got hired, and me and just one other guy uh, got kept on. Um, so there's something to that. So yeah, so Jay Vega, you'd have to tell me about dues paying. Um, what do you get after that six months? Um, what uh, what a thing of value took place, and what is it like? I mean, were you accepted by the group? I don't know what that's like. I really don't. I've uh, I've never been a group guy. Um, I've always kind of been a more of a, of a, uh, independent, um, uh, self-manager kind of, uh, uh I, I keep, I keep using this word kind of like a, a, a just a misanthrope. I just don't fit well, uh, with groups. Um, mostly because I don't, uh, if I don't agree with something, I'm not going to go along with it just because the group's going along with it. I, I well, actually... I wanted to tell you this just briefly. Um, one of the groups that uh, wanted my participation, um, I, I wouldn't go along with something that I thought was deliberately provocative um, at the company. It was kind of like firing a shot across their uh, bows. I thought that wasn't in the spirit of mutual concessions. Um, and then in another case, I talked to a guy that actually lied um, uh, for the group uh, in a court. And uh, I said, why would you lie? And he's like, well, the, that, I mean, the group wanted this done, and the only way to get it was to lie. And I'm like, that makes you a liar. And he's like, no, it doesn't. And I'm like, yeah, man, you're a liar. <laughs> and he thought that it wasn't lying. I mean, he wanted to justify it because he, he lied for the group. The group told him to lie. So he's not a liar. Um, but, dude, he's a liar. <laughs> and I'd, I'd never lie. Uh, um, intentionally, and I definitely never lie for somebody else. Um, I can imagine keeping quiet. <laughs> All right, Jay Vega, uh, thanks for having coffee with me, and uh, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, um, about uh, dues paying, because um, as I said, I don't, uh, I don't know about it. I really don't. All right, see you in the tubes.